Now, I don't particularly like Trump, but I'm not against him. I did not vote for that damn fool that they had running against him, that racist dog that I heard the first time in 1972 when I was doing an intern thing at a D.C. think tank when he was out there with James O. Eastland, John B. Stennis, Faubus came in from Arkansas. That's the fool who said they'd never integrate the uh, Little Rock High School. They had Wallace there who was wheeled in, and they had Bird, former Grand Dragon of the Klan, and they were talking about this young man who had a stupid-looking ducktail like he was back in the 1950s, was the last true yellow dog Dixiecrat. And they were talking about Joe Biden, who mm. got up there, and when the speech he gave, I mean, I was really offended. I heard it right outside the state capitol building in Dover, which mm -hmm. was a rundown, ransacked old house, 250 years old. Mm -hmm. And he said, Negro children are like roaches. If they're allowed to integrate the schools, they will infest them and they will never be gotten out. Negro. Who said that? Joe Biden said that? Yeah, I heard it. Wow. Wow. Saw him. Mm. He said Negroes were animals and they turned the streets into jungles. And he and Senator Eastland had a plan where they could put all of these Negro animals in zoos. Now, we yeah. talk about the 94 crime bill. That wasn't shit. The 91 was bad. The 91. 87 was really bad. The 81 was the one where one rock got you five years, which due to some other stuff, Biden and Stennis and Eastland did. It wasn't five years with parole. They abolished federal parole. So you get five years, you get 60 months, and you get released with all good and honor time at 56 months from federal custody. And then there was, that was the 81, when then there was a 79 and the 77. So let's give blame where blame is due. That bastard has been a racist dog, and he used to talk about he understood the Negro because he was raised in Delaware. Hmm. And he said, Delaware was a proud slave owning state mm. that basically copped out by not going with the South during the rebellion as it should have, because they were too close to DC to not be intimidated. Mm -hmm. So I listened to this racist dog. I kept up with him because I was practicing criminal law and federal criminal trials became almost a lynch thing because of what is allowed, by the way, if you ever get interrogated by the feds, never say, I don't know what happened. I don't know anything about it mm -hmm. because you will get convicted on one count of an indictment saying, making a knowingly false statement to a federal investigator. You mm -hmm. know why? Because they tell you what you're there for. So you know what you're there for. So when you say, I don't know nothing about it, you did because they told you mm -hmm. if with the feds. You say, I have nothing to say or I refuse to make an, a statement. I want a lawyer, but mm -hmm. if you're talking with the state, you say, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Fuck you, you know, but with the feds, watch what you say, because yeah. in a federal system, thanks to Biden, Stennis, Eastland, and some other, these yellow dog Dixiecrat races, what happens is they've set it up. So, you get tried by ambush if it is a criminal case. And if you are absolutely innocent, you don't know shit about what happened. Mm -hmm. Eastland and Stennis and Biden set something else up where they deliberately set the rules so that a prosecutor could knowingly go at, well, not knowing, but know that he had no case that could get an invic conviction, but deliberately go after you for the purpose of bankrupting you so your ability to operate is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Now, that's one of the bad things that bastard did. And then you got come Queen La Imhoff in there. You know who Imhoff is? No. Yes, yeah, you do. Who? Mrs. Imhoff. Vice President of the United States, who goes by her maiden name, Miss Kamala, uh, Kamala Harris. <laughs> and 
she's got two Jewish children she adopted. She married a Jewish husband who's got a I'm scared to talk about Kamala Harris. I'm gonna let you have that one. Uh, she's a witch and she is a corrupt witch. She's been corrupt her whole life and she fucked her way to the top. Oh, Lord. They used to detail this witch in the LA Times with her sexual escapades. She mm. fucked him near everybody trying to get up. She used to be a frat hoe when she was at Howard. And she ain't black. You know, I ain't got to do with this, Miss Harris. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, well, don't, <laughs> but she's a. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just listening. Well, uh -huh. here's the thing I actually met her father mm -hmm. in Jamaica. I was the guest set at the governor general's table, and he was a professor. Okay. And he represents as a Hindu Brahmin. He admittedly has some Irish in him. Mm -hmm. All right. The person that Camilla Harris is saying is her black great grandmother is, in fact, according to daddy, in an article he wrote, which has now been cleaned up on the online edition of that magazine, mm -hmm. was a Hindu house servant, not mm -hmm. a black woman. So her mother is listed on her birth certificate as Caucasian, even though she's dark, but see, she's a Hindu. Brahmin to meal cast. Now, interestingly, do you know what the anthropological name is for what uh, Camilla Harris and her parents are? Mm -mm. No, sir. Indo, I N D O hyphen Aryan. See, they are the original Aryans, but Adolf Hitler and his boys told a big lie. The blonde haired, blue eyed Aryans from the far north did not exist, never existed. They were the dark to swarthy to paper bag brown, dark eyed, dark, coarse haired Indo Aryans from the India, mm. from India. Mm -hmm. Those actually settled Germany and some other people came in from the steps that lightened everything up a bit. Mm -hmm. So that lie is being told. So you get the Aryan Brotherhood, the Aryan Nation. What's going on is the Aryans they claim to be uh, one with look like Cum Queen La or Cum Queen Harris. You know, I guess what she did is, you know, L.A. Times ranked her out. I was out in L.A., you know, when she was really I see this article. article. Before that, see, she got out and they ran a thing that when she went to law school, Willie Brown, that was his mistress. They used to have guards. I heard about that. Though. Where Dad, what I loved, it was a scene, Willie Brown sitting behind a desk with his tongue hanging out and Camilla is raising up after doing him, you know. Mm. And uh, they ran this thing where he got her a job with a medical supply company that did business with the city of San Francisco. He got mm -hmm. her a gig for 15 hours a week. Mm -hmm. For seventy-two thousand a year, and you have to understand that was thirty-five years ago. Mm. And then when they carried the thing where she moved up to twenty hours a week, she getting paid one hundred and twenty grand for a part-time gig, and he bought her mm -hmm. a seven fifty i BMW. Mm -hmm. She was earning that. So <laughs> then she had this thing where she was trying to get on with this big firm that wouldn't hire, so she started screwing one of your buddies an NBA player who was their biggest client. So she wow. got hired. So then they ran a scandal sheet on her where she was trying to get on with the DA's office. So she started screwing the deputy chief DA to get on. So. So.